Hello everyone, it's Abdullah here again, and uh, in this video I'm going to cover the local anesthetic, uh, which is one of the important questions that can be asked in the suturing uh, station of the MRCS. And it's also a very useful um, thing to know while you're giving your patient the local anesthetic uh, and how to dose it and how to calculate the dose. And also to understand some simple meanings of what is 1%, what is 2%, and how much of lidocaine you can give your patient. And all these questions we're going to answer today. Uh, so, so basically, before giving your patient any medication, we need to do a few checks. One, what is the allergy status for this patient? If they are allergic to lidocaine, and if they are, what happened when they took lidocaine before, or basically any other medication? And also, if they are afraid of needles or have any bad experience with this? Um, and, um, of course, we need to do some checks on the medication itself. Um, specifically, what is this medication? And of course, um, what is the expiry date of the medication? And then what dose are you planning to give? And what is the maximum that you can give as well? And of course, you can keep track. Uh, the other thing is, after giving the medication, this is sharp. Uh, it will need to go on the sharps pen and to avoid any injury to any of your colleagues and yourself as well. Um, so when you go to the scenario and you will be asked to do stitching, you will ask for what materials would you like to have or what are your equipment that you would like to ask for. So when you ask, I would like some local anesthetic, be very specific. I would like lidocaine 1% or 2% based on your preference, uh, maybe with adrenaline or without adrenaline, and maybe two ampoules of the 5 ml. Right? So be very specific when you're asking of what you would like to have uh, and then decide. But we didn't really answer yet what is 1% and what is 2%. So basically, this symbol, it contains around 5 milliliter of uh, lidocaine. So that means when you get a syringe, it will fill up to 5 milliliter to the end. Okay, So that's 5 milliliter, and now we're measuring volume. But we didn't, we didn't talk how much lidocaine is actually inside those 5 milliliter. So that will depend on the percentage, which here is 1%, and as you can see here is 2%. So 1%, what it means is 1% means in each 1 milliliter, we have around 10 milligram of lidocaine. And 2% means in each 1 milliliter, we have 20 milligram of lidocaine. Okay, so it's, it's usually multiplied by 10, and then we give the amount of lidocaine in milligrams. So for example, this 5 milliliter of the 1% will contain 50 milligram of lidocaine. On the other side, 5 milliliter of the T% will contain 100 milligram, of course, of lidocaine. All right, so now you know what you're asking for. The next question, what is the absolute maximum dose? The absolute maximum of lidocaine that you can give to your patient. The absolute maximum is around 300 milligram. So that means it's almost up to 30 milliliter of the 1% or that will be around 15 milliliter of the 2%. Okay, um, however, we can further increase the amount of lidocaine that we can give to our patient, and that's basically if we can add adrenaline to this, to this embol. So if we get this embol and add to it some adrenaline, adrenaline can cause local vasoconstriction and will decrease the absorption of lidocaine. So if you, have a, if you add adrenaline, you can give maximum dose of around uh, 7 milligram per kg of the um, the adrenaline, so 7 milligram per kg. So that means if you have like a 70 a kilogram um, uh, patient, so that means like you can give around, let's say, 500 milligram. 500 milligram, that means it's 50 milliliter of the 1% and 25 milliliter of the 2% lidocaine. Right? This is only when it's adrenalized. Cool. And if we want to make this in kilograms, so that will be 3 milligram per kg. So again, if you have like 70 um, kilogram um, male patients, so you can give up to 
um, that would be 210 in total. You divide it by 10, you can give up to 21 milliliter of the 1%, of course. All right, so, so again, you can see there's a big difference between 21 and 30. That's why, in my opinion, you better calculate it with 3 milligram per kg rather than this number. All right. But to be honest, this is not the maximum dose, the absolute maximum. So there is a difference between the maximum that you would give and also the absolute maximum, which this is the dose that you can't really get beyond it. So the absolute maximum is not 3 milligram per kg, but 4.8 milligram per kg. Let's say, so 4.8, if you multiply it by 70 kilogram, it will give you almost 300 milligram of the uh, the uh, lidocaine. So basically 30 milliliter is the maximum that you can give for your patient. So just to summarize here, uh, what we said on this one, we said 1% means for each one milliliter, you have 10 milligram of lidocaine. 2% for each one milliliter, you have 20 milligram of lidocaine. This is five milliliter, that would mean it will have 50 milligram lidocaine. This is five milliliter, that means it has 100 milligram of lidocaine. Again, the maximum dose that you can give of lidocaine, we're talking about non-adrenalized lidocaine. So the maximum dose is one of two things, whether it's 4.8 milligram per kg, or it's a 300 uh, a milligram. So 300 milligram, that means it's a three milliliter of the 1%, sorry, 30 milliliter of the 1% or 15 milliliter of the 2%. And you can do it here the same as well. Great, so um, I think that answered the question. So very confidently, when you're being asked in the exam, what uh, lidocaine you'd like, you'll say, I would like the lidocaine 1% non-adrenalized two ampoules of the five mil, uh, of the five milliliter. And then you will be asked, how much would you like to give your patient? Say the maximum that I can give will be three milligram per kg. This is not the absolute maximum, but that's the maximum that you would give, three milligram per kg. And that would be, that would mean uh, that you can, um, if the patient is 70 kilogram, you can give up to 21 milliliter. Uh, from um, so you can get get up to four and bulls to give to your patient but of course you don't need to give the four you can just use two or maybe even one for the five milliliter okay so these just questions to answer quickly uh, what it meant by the percentage we said one percent means for each one milliliter you you have um, uh, 10 milligram and two percent means for for each uh, uh, one milliliter, uh, you have like 20 milligram, okay? I mean, this needs to be changed positions, really. What is recommended dose of lidocaine? So there is difference between the recommended and the absolute maximum dose. Recommended, if it's non-adrenalized, it's a three milligram. If it's adrenalized, it's seven milligram per kg. On the other side, this is 304.4 uh, milligram per kg. I think it's 4.8, all right? The maximum dose that you give epinephrine is 0.2 milligram, which will not be exceeded in um, giving your patient this much of adrenalized, which we talked about early. So yeah, thank you very much. So the answer is very confidently, you would like to say, uh, I would like the 1% lidocaine, and the maximum that I can give my patient, if the patient is 70 kilogram, would be 21 milliliter, uh, because that would be 210 milligram of lidocaine which doesn't exceed the, the absolute maximum, which is 300 milligram uh, for a normal weight patient. Thank you very much. Uh, so, so likewise here, I'm going to explain the bupivacaine, which is another medication, one of the local anesthetic medication that we can use in patients who are allergic to lidocaine. So starting by the percentage, as you can see here, it's 0.25%, which is the commonest one that we use. And again, to understand the meaning of 0.25%, we always multiply it by 10, and you will find that for every one milliliter, 
we have 2.5 milligram of uh, pipivacaine, okay? Um, and that makes it easy, really, because the maximum dose that you can give to a patient is 2.5 milligram per kg. So 2.5 milligram per kg, or in other words, the one milliliter of the 0.25 percentage uh, is the maximum that you can give, of course, per kg. Okay, so that means if you have a 70 kilogram year old uh, male patient and you'd like to give some pipivacaine to them, you can give um, up to 70 milliliter of the so 70 milliliter of the 0.25 percent, or on the other side to make it on um, milligram, so you can give up to 175 uh, milligram of the pipivacaine. I mean, of course, when you multiply 70 by 2.5, that will give you in milligram. On the other side, if you divide um, uh, this by, uh, basically, if you multiply by 10 like we did early, that will give you one milliliter per kg. And of course, um, multiply by 70 will be 70 milliliter, okay? So if the patient is allergic to xylocaine or lidocaine, you can give pipivacaine. The dose of pipivacaine, like we said, the maximum that you can give is 175 or from the 0.25 per percentage. Um, I think that means 70. Um, okay, what it does 0.25 mean? Like we explained, in each one milliliter, we have 2.5 milligram of pipivacaine. The maximum dose, like we said, it's 2.5 milligram per kg, and this means one milliliter per kg. And of course, we're talking about the 0.25 uh, percentage, okay? Good. Can the dose of pipivacaine increase in patient with adrenaline? No, they, we can't. Adrenaline doesn't really do anything with pipivacaine, so we can't really increase the dose. Okay. These are the side effects of pipivacaine, which I'm pretty sure that you all know, but just to arrhythmia, dizziness, if it's become um, systematically absorbed. Okay. Thank you.